There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees. Oh, I'm in control. What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome to Deliver Us the Moon. I, I played this game quite some time. It's a really fun game. But it was only half finished uh, last time I played it. Like, yeah, I'll copy in a second just as soon as I finish my intro. Damn, she's bossy. And that radio is getting on my nerves. She had up. Can I shut you off? No. Can't shut you off. Okay, she's not done. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is a game I played some time ago, but it wasn't finished. They actually pulled the game off of the Steam Workshop for quite some time because, yeah, it didn't get that great of reviews and the developers decided we're just going to pull it until the game is finished and hopefully now the game is finished so we can go ahead and finish the storyline because it was a really good one and I really want to see what happens but let's go ahead and get this started our space suit ground control to Fortuna 1 this is Claire Please confirm radio contact. Uh, tab. And confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Alright, so here's our mission log. We already equipped the suit. Uh, we need to get into the launch facility, the Fez Fezenkov? Whatever. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try not to waste too much time on this. Ah, uh, there it is. Yep. There she is, the Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. 
All right, so let me give you the story as I can remember it up till now. Uh, apparently there was an ap apocalyptic episode where the entire planet turned into a dust bowl, a desert. Uh, what they did was they tried a... God damn, that's kind of loud. Hopefully the music isn't too loud for you guys. But they had a little bit of trouble getting power to uh, the planet. So what they did was they decided to mine helium-3 from the moon and use... Okay. There's another dead base object. Let's, let's check that out and see what it is. Created by Isaac Johnson, the MPT transmitted power from the moon to the Earth through a network of satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during the 2054 blackout, Claire Johnson has studied her father's work closely in preparation for the Fortuna, Fortuna mission. Claire is the one we're talking to on the other end of the radio, I think. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, so what they did was they went to the moon to mine helium-3, which is an actual science. Uh, helium-3 is used to create dark matter, which is a very strong power source. And then they use satellites to transfer the power to Earth. Uh, but something happened. Later on, we'll figure out what happened. It's actually a really good story. And they lost power. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to the moon so we can figure out what happened and try to repair the e EMP? EMT? Whatever the hell the machine is called. Uh, Elizabeth kept the Johans family together after her husband Isaac assumed a role on the Lunar Council. After her death, Claire took care of her sister Kathy uh, before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. Alright, so I think that's uh, Claire's sister and her father are on the moon and they disappeared. Nobody's heard from them. Alright, I think that's all that is in the trailer. And then I think we can scan this as well. Uh, the monument marks the entrance of the Fezdikov Cosmodrome. Uh, the facility was abandoned until the Fortuna team made it their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. The sign reads, To the Stars. Alright, so yeah, what we need to do is we need to get up to the rocket so that way we can launch into space. First place I guess we need to go is uh, the space elevator. The space elevator will get us down to the surface of the moon. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to go up there and repair. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game, so might have to relearn everything. But I think I got the most. All right, you done? I think it's done. Now we can maybe get up. So yeah, I don't know if I said this already, but the uh, the devs pulled this game out. Uh, took it off the Steam Workshop and everywhere. They decided not to sell it until it was finished. Ted, I see you're on your way up to the facility. Which hopefully it is now. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. I mean, I'm really, really hoping... Do we need to get out this way? Yeah. Ah. Uh-oh. What do we got? It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. MPT. That's what I was looking for. Uh, R? Oh, shit. Okay, back up so we can see this. Hello? Oh, yeah, that's right. Sooner or later, we get our little buddy. The, the little beach ball. I forget what he's called. Uh, what do we got here? If power is out, use code 3548 for the door. Great, now I have to remember. 3548. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted... Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think I collected it, but... 
I don't remember how to get to it. Uh, I think that's it. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, three, five, four, eight. Ah! Now, why the hell the code to a secure door is right there on the wall makes absolutely no sense to me, but hey, we got to progress in the game somehow. Okay, that's not open. I think we could open up the shutter shutters so we get some light in here. Okay, not a whole lot of light, but a little bit. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Alright, just looking around, seeing if there's anything... If I remember correctly, this is just a, uh, observe type of game. You don't actually pick anything up. There's no fighting or anything like that. I could be wrong. It has been a while. Alright, so determined to seek the truth about the two 2054 blackout and restore the MPT connection, Maria Gonzalez has raised the Fortuna team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. Alright, so yeah, what we have to do is we have to launch from the planet, uh, Earth. We have to launch from here and then... Oh yeah, I remember this. Alright, so we... I think we collect them. Did we not collect them? Maybe we don't collect them. Okay, well, let's go ahead and drop that right there. Uh, oh yeah, this guy. Our little beach ball. Uh, one of the few survivors of the 2048 Huygens cryosleep malfunction. Maria brought her damaged ASC unit back to the Earth. Uh, with her. She's been trying to repair her ASC in hopes of restoring holographic recordings captured by the device during her time at the Huygens Research Facility. Alright, thank you. Can I get out, please? Thank you. Uh, letters. Yeah, we're not going to read those. Uh, in memoriam. Oh, shit, there's something on the back. Don't forget everyone we lost that day. Alright, I think we need to go through here. Oh, okay. I remember now. Uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, we gotta move this. And at some point, we have to bring it back here when we bring down the elevator. Uh, if we ever get to that point. Alright, flash. Oh. We already got it on. For some reason, I don't remember this game being this dark, but it's definitely kind of cool. But so far, I'm not noticing anything new, so I think all the new content is later on. Alright, now I gotta remember... Oh yeah, there's one of those uh, recordings that we could actually watch. But I think we need to scan this? No. Or Tuna One is a go. Thank you, everyone. Okay, uh, yeah, the controls are a little beer pong. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and read this real quick. I need three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire. There you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. 
I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we <laughs> fail. Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. Right. Secondly, it could be one of the networks. All right. So some of these do get pretty long. So. Yeah, look forward to that. Uh, there's one of the rockets. Honorable Judge Richard, what the custody? Huh? Custody denied. Uh, court rules that the father Isaac jo Johansson, as the next kin of, has been granted full custody over Kathy. So that's why she was able to go to the moon. Oh, there's uh, Fortuna. Uh, recruited straight out of university, Claire Johansson designed the Taurus 5 rocket for the uh, Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the, f the fates of her father and her sister on the moon after the 2054 blackout. Alright, so a lot of story to this game. One of the reasons it's really cool. Alright, so in order to launch a rocket, this is the stuff we're going to have to do. Ah, uh, it's going to be a lot. There's like 10 steps. Uh, if I remember correctly, they actually tell you as you go, so that way you don't have to memorize all that shit. But I guess it's one of the things we'll find out once we get up there. Control room. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Alright. Uh, I don't think we can launch it yet. We need to do something back here, I think. Reboot. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Alright, so we had a few hours, but now it looks like we only had minutes. Uh, can we interact? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. There, I think it was the power or something. We have to interact again, I think. No. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I think there was something that we have to repair. I'm not a, not exactly sure what the hell that was. Oh yeah, now I remember. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the elevator up here because we're going to need that in a second. Uh, this is where we put the stair. So that way... Yeah, one of these ladders right here are going to break on us. So we need to get the other one, which is on the other side, and that's when the ladder is going to break. Oh, no, wrong. God damn it. Can I just jump off, please? Thank you. Yep. That one right there. All right. Wow. Okay, the character does slide around a bit. Definitely something I need to get used to again. But yeah, what we need to do is we need to get that ladder so we can get up to that thing that we have to fix. Okay, why? There you go. Alright, we on? I think we're on. Alright, now, okay. Uh, I have to make sure it's right in the center, don't I? Yep, there it is. For some reason I'm remembering there's a way of putting this into first person, but I can't remember what that is. 
Alright, so turn right. There we go. And now we should be able to get up there so we can uh, repair this thing. Try to launch the damn rocket. Oh yeah, that's the fuel. That's what it is. Uh, it's the hydrogen fuel. And that's what we're trying to do. We had to repair that to refuel the... Yeah. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually what we needed to fuel the rocket. All right, here we go. And now we have to run. Uh oh, and here comes the storm too. Yeah, launching a rocket is not something you want to do in a storm, but we're going to do it anyways. Problem is, I forget where the hell to go. Oh yeah, middle. Okay, I can't, I can't sprint, probably because of the wind, but here we go. Okay, launch, damn you. Not launch, but lift. Alright, can I not? Oh, yeah. What are you waiting for? We have I'm to on, launch. on it. Shut right. up. I'm right here. Shut the hell up. Shit. Nag, nag, nag. Damn. All right, here we go. Now the hard part. Rocket navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. All right, I gotta remember how to do that. Uh, I think it's all of these. Ground launch sequencer started. And then this one, we got to Orbital hold until it's blue. Testing. Okay, a little. I gotta let it go sooner. I let it go. God damn it! I let it go. You son of a bitch! Ah, uh, come on! I let. Mm, this this is getting on my nerves. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Did I fail? I think I failed. Yeah, I did. Well, first time. All right, let's try this again. Systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Procedure. Ground launch sequencer started. All right, so I don't hold F. I just hit F when it's in the blue. There we go. Took me a second, but I got it. Alright, so A1, A3, B3, B4. So A1, A3, B3, B4. Not great. Again. There we go. Alright, then we gotta turn, I think, all of these. Sound suppression system engaged. And, oh yeah. Hydrogen burn-off system activated. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Standing by for countdown. Rocket boosters, ignition stop. And Engine here we go. Ready in five. Unfortunately, we can't see a goddamn thing out the window. But we can watch the camera. Oh, we lost the camera. Here we go, it's starting to clear. And 
and there's the moon. Uh, I think we're the getting ready. The rocket entered the thermosphere. You're on your way, but you know what? I think we're getting ready for separation. Main engine shut off, stage separation, second stage ignition. Can't remember if I need to do anything. But yeah, there's the planet. There's Earth. And here comes the sun. Back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about the future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson Space Station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear? We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. And of course, it cuts her off when she's trying to tell us what to do. Please, deliver us the All right, Tab. Uh, complete the second stage of the launch sequence, complete the first stage, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, stage separation. Okay, that... I expected a little bit of shake and shudder, but apparently not. All right. Second stage, ignition. And here we go, off to the moon. So yeah, next episode I think we'll be up in one of the space stations. There goes the second stage. And it should be fun. But yeah, for this episode I think that's about all the time I have. So make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.